Hi everyone and welcome to another Raymond the Ramble. So today we are having a quick look at the Benelli Viaduct. This viaduct has been around a long time. It used to be a railway line. Its total length is 1,452 feet. It stands at 60 foot tall. It was opened in January 1878. The current work, as you can see there on the right hand side, um, started in March, but uh, obviously it was suspended due to COVID, but it's reopened now. And I think the idea is they're going to make it into a public walkway. So it'll look amazing once it's done to be able to walk along the top of it. And can't wait for it to uh, to open. Now I've stayed over this side of the, um, the viaduct with the drone because over on the right hand side there's some motorbikers, which I'll I'm going to upload separately uh, and some guys flying a drone uh, flying a plane model plane a fast one so I didn't want to be anywhere near them guys so I kept well out of the way and stayed over this side it's a grade 2 listed building believe it or not it's registered on the 2020 world monuments watch list it's had small um, improvements over the last few years, but nothing major. The raw iron lattice work, as you can see, as you know, most railways were brick built. However, this one wasn't. The viaduct was subject to a great deal of coal mining subsidence, and that's why they used the lighter raw iron design. So that's why it's made of raw iron, because of subsidence. So yeah, I uh, just hope you enjoy this one guys, I'm just going to let it run now and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.
Hi everyone, so if you've made it this far, big thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Now, at this point, I'd lost connection to the drone. I do not know how it had happened, I wasn't even that far away from the drone, but I, once again, connection was lost. So, the drone is flying back on its own steam, and then as it stops and starts coming down, that's when I could see it and gain control of it now. I was right next to the canal and the trees were right above me but um, as soon as I could hear it I was able to gain control of it it was able to it just reconnected luckily it didn't have a total malfunction but um, yeah that's a few times it's happened to me now sometimes I have really good signals and other times it's it's not brilliant I'm afraid it uh, drops out pretty quickly and I'm doing everything I can I'm putting me phone on um, airplane mode and you know doing everything as you can see a lot I'm, it's, I've got a tree right above me but at the time I didn't really have anywhere else to stand so yeah lesson learned make sure you don't stand near a tree or right next to the canal edge I need to make sure I'm in an open field next time so yeah once again thanks for watching and please remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so appreciate it thank you bye